Yeah. yeah. I was four years old when I started dancing because I realized at a very young age, at the age of nine, that I wanted to teach. I wanted to share the love that I was having through taking classes. I like modern contemporary. Um, I like the freedom that goes along with it, but I like it the base of the classicism. The uniqueness of dance is that you are becoming an artist. You have your music, you have your movement, and you have your emotion. In other types of sports, you have the adrenaline, you have the goal, but you're not um, supported by music and emotion. It's the rapport, whether we laugh at how they struggle or we applaud at how that they are um, progressing. It's watching their baby steps go um, further and further and helping them realize that it's not just dance, it's all sorts of life lessons that they're learning and how um, they grow. My name's Jenea and I've been dancing for 14 and a half years. My name is Diana and I've been dancing for 14 years. I continue to dance because I feel that dance is the art form that I personally can really express myself and it really helps me grow as a person and as an artist, as a person because with all the master classes and the people that you meet, um, the people in the dance world are really influential and then all of the aspects and motives and morals that they all have are very unique and very different and I like to take what they have and kind of try to apply that to my own artistry and even daily life as well. I don't really know. I started when I was really little, right? So I was like three. I just started dancing on my toes because I watched a Barbie movie. And yeah, that's basically what drew me to dance. My favorite style of dance is ballet, just because I've been doing it the longest and I'm cl really close with the people that I do it with. Um, and it's just, you progress at like, at each level you progress more and more. So in like, like in advance two, it gets really hard. And yeah, it's just the better style. My friends from dance, they are like my lifelong friends. I would say they are the bestest friends that I have and I have met so many amazing people and influencers, like my teachers are really amazing people and I'd say everybody in the industry is really inspiring to me. I'm always worried that I'm gonna get injured. I never do, which is good. But it affects me in a really positive way, mentally, because I channel a lot of my negative energy into my dancing, which really helps with my mental state of mind. I guess because you use every muscle in your body, most sports or activities or whatever don't use every muscle, and you know, it's more like a mental thing, not really a physical. It is a physical thing, but it's more mental and physical. Dance, I feel, is for everyone, and it may be judged as only gay guys dance, but that's not true, and it's really for everyone, and it's an open door, but I feel like not everybody has accepted how open of a door it is, and it may be sappy and expressive to a point where you're like, ew, that's disgusting, 
but it doesn't have to be if you don't want it to be. There are other styles out there and it only is like that if you decide it is. It comes back down to sometimes we face adversity and if we face it head on and we look at it and look at it at different angles and try it one more time, sometimes there's a success story at the end as opposed to a negative story. Thank you.